Hello students, so just few days for your examination. So all your hard work, everything is going to be tested in just one day. And uh, I'm sure that all of you would have been prepared by now. All of you are all set for your examination. And uh, just in case if you have any doubts, if you want any help, anything, you know, with regard to your examination, strategy, material, question, topic, anything, just let me know in the comment box below and I will be answering uh, them. And uh, today we are again here with the legal updates, important legal updates. So very quickly get into the uh, uh, legal updates one by one. First one is with regard to uh, a case basically wherein uh, there was this uh, DBMP, they they uh, asked for, uh, I mean, basically they are, uh, uh, there was an NGO that took, uh, see, sought some permission from a BBMP to conduct house to house survey in order to get the data as to what is their, you know, electoral behavior, how much they are aware, how much they are educated, what kind of work do we need to do on them for the awareness and uh, how are they participating you know all of that for that for that ngo was uh, asking for the permission to uh, get house to house survey uh, done right which was finally cancelled and uh, this why is this news important as such this news is uh, only important because this decision of cancellation was backed by some constitutional provision right and as i told you i have always told you that whenever we talk about constitution wherever whenever there is any news that has its back to our subject matter the topics that are there in our syllabus that we are studying it automatically becomes important right so here also in this case a very uh, important case that is of justice ks puttaswamy case a landmark just judgment uh, wherein the right to privacy was included under uh, right to life and uh, personal liberty under article 21 right so this cancellation took place on the ground of right to privacy saying that such house to house survey it is going to violate the right to privacy of people then uh, last month we celebrated constitution day on 26th of uh, november and it is basically a celebration of we the people of india right that is the opening statement of the uh, preamble now the interesting part here is that till 2015 uh, i mean before that we uh, i mean this 26th of november went unnoticed it got no is that as such but since 2015 we have been celebrating constitution day and talking about constitution it is uh, one of the longest it is actually the longest most detailed constitution of the world uh, it is a living constitution it is not a static one right and living means it keeps changing according to the society as the society is changing our constitution also breathe right so uh, uh, that was about uh, the constitution now talking about the amendment when we talk about it is a living document it means that it keep we can make amendments to the constitution now how do amendment takes place so there is a procedure of amendment that is mentioned under article 368 of constitution that talks about the amendment and that is why we called constitution as the living uh, document okay next interesting news is about the law commission after to uh, almost uh, more than two and a half years uh, uh, we have got another law commission that is that is going to be a 22nd law commission that is going that is being constituted uh, uh, under uh, justice retired justice ritu rajavasti he will be heading the law commission now talking about law commission so far you would have heard about law commission here and there about their recommendation that they have given so far so how it actually functions uh, law commission is a non statutory body okay so basically it has it gets constituted through the notification from the government of india whenever government of india feels that now we need some kind of research in a field of law right there are certain amendments or certain uh, transformation basically of an entire legal system uh, in a particular area is required or some data is required some intricate research is required in such case government of india notifies it and constitute uh, the law commission all right 
what is the task of law commission so basically law commission uh, is constituted for the research work and uh, they they conduct their own research and after the research what as per the research they draw their own recommendation they give it to the government as to okay now this is our research and on the basis of our research these are our recommendations for the amendment changes modification addition omission right all of that and they give it to the government and accordingly the government uh, can uh, work on it talking about the tenure there is no fixed tenure for law commission it is up to the government uh, government notifies it in the notification itself as to what is going to be the tenure of the upcoming law commission like for example now for 22nd law commission the tenure has been fixed for 3 uh, years right first law commission was formed in back in 1955 and now we are getting 22nd law commission and so far we have got more than 277 uh, basically so far exact 277 reports from law commission right means 277 reports means 277 reports of all the research that uh, these uh, past uh, I mean previous law commissions they have done moving on to a very important very uh, interesting very progressive bill that we have got recently um Uh, that is going to be placed in the parliament uh, during uh, winter session however for now whatever information we have we need to be aware of that right and that is about the draft digital personal data protection bill 2022 now uh, india is digitalizing right digital india that is a movement uh, as such and whenever there is a digital stance that we are taking it always needs to be backed by certain uh, data protection right because all these digital uh, and you know uh, internet it is all about data data of we people of common people right all the people all the citizens of india now in such case such data can be very sensitive which can be used for any uh, malicious purposes as well right like for example recently uh, aims delhi they got attacked by a ransomware right so these uh, that pertains to the cyber crime and you know cyber law cyber crime this has been quite a topic uh, in 2022 and uh, chances are there that it can be one of the topics that examiner choose to pick up in your uh, for your clad uh, passage right now <clears throat> talking about uh, the uh, bill uh, it is uh, th- there are actually two parts to it uh, that is very important which is new also and which is required as well a bit progressive in indian concept or context okay because we we do not have a very solid cyber law as such the cyber law structure that the legal structure is not as solid as it needs to be considering the fact that we are going for the basically a transformation or revolution of digital india right now uh, what is so what is the uh, new draft uh, talking about there are two parts to it that is very important first one is draft talks about the social right of a person to uh, uh, you know restrict a per- to restrict the other person from taking their data so basically if there is any body if that body wants to access have the data of a particular person such person will have to give consent to such data in order to get it processed to that system all right until and unless consent is not taken uh, data cannot be taken up right so that is basically considered as a societal right of a person to decide whether they want to give certain data to the other uh, body or not second part is about the fiduciary data obligation of the fiduciary data of the fiduciary so basically fiduciary means suppose there is a company there is a company they want certain data from you and uh, now that data they are going to collect it they are going to store it now there are certain restrictions that have been made by the bill which uh, has to be followed by all these companies all these fiduciaries wherein okay you take the permission from the user and you took the data now how that data is getting used that will be that has to be kept also i mean that also has to be kept intact means the government needs to know uh, that it is taken lawfully and 
it is stored lawfully so there is going to be an expiry period of that data so there is going to be a limited period till which such fiduciary can keep that data in their store and after a particular period of time they need to delete it so basically the uh, law i mean the bill does not clearly says or, or very explicitly does not say that you have to clear the data they have just given a limit that you have to keep this much data and in order to ensure that that they have all the updated data still have to uh, the fiduciary will have to somehow uh, delete the for previous data right so that also has been taken up by the uh, bill so these are the two major areas because these have to have been the major uh, area of problem however there are uh, there are other areas also that the bill has been talking about and uh, i'm sure this is going to be a very progressive bill and it is a very short bill actually we are, we are expecting that further uh, as the time changes as the requirement be uh, it will be amend, amended further in, in in order to make it more detailed and refined uh, law right now uh, that was about the uh, draft of digital personal uh, a data protection bill uh, i would suggest you to read at least one article on this particular bill uh, on the internet or if you have re read it in the newspaper that's fine but read one article at least so that you get a knack of what kind of language you know this uh, bill has been taking up so that just in case if you get a uh, passage on that you should not get uncomfortable with such technical languages of uh, this bill yeah then <clears throat> next up is about the recusal of judge so there is a judge uh, justice sk call so he uh, called himself i mean he recused himself from uh, hearing a petition now that pet that petition was about the extension of the tenure that is granted to ed uh, uh, so in such case justice scale call uh, uh, backed up so what happens in recusal recusal is actually not a it is not mentioned in the constitution as such it is not mentioned in any law as such it is just that there is a, a, a principle of natural justice that talks about fairness and reasonableness means the judge the one who is judging he or she should not have any kind of interest in the case or in the in the subject matter of the case right or in the person in the parties of the case right so if such uh, judge has any kind of interest in that person or in that case or in that subject matter in such case there can be a situation of or there can be a possibility of biasedness yes and wherever there would be a situation of bias it means that such decision is not going to be fair and reasonable right it is not going to be fair and that is why in order to ensure that the judgment is fair and reasonable it becomes important that you know we, we follow such such practice wherein judges recuse themselves on their own that list okay i have an interest or uh, this was my lawyer i mean basically this was my colleague before or this was this is a subject matter wherein even i was the one who was taking up this matter previously you know? there can be a lot of things so if the judge thinks that he or she has any kind of interest that is going to benefit uh, him or her right or the person about the which can actually cause a bias towards a particular party or towards a particular decision in such case such judge can recuse himself right so uh, what is recusal in in literal terms it means removal of oneself as a judge or a policy maker in a particular matter especially because of the conflict of interest so if that person if that judge has any kind of interest that is conflicting with the interest of the party in either, either of the party in such case judge can uh, take back his steps right so that was about the recusal of judges and then again we come up with the posco act uh, uh, in one of our previous session also we discussed about it now again there is a judgment uh, in karnataka high court wherein uh, they have been i mean the court has actually uh, uh, asked law commission of india to rethink about the age criteria in the posco act for consensual sex now in that case if you remember in, with regard to posco we studied that if there is a male you know uh, under 18 there is i mean there is a fee, under 16 there is a female under 18 yeah so in such case if they uh, if uh anything happens in such case there are possibility that such person can be taken up under uh, posco act itself 
so there are a lot of uh, intricacies and these kind of laws are quite strict also right if you remember in one of our previous session we discussed about it that posco act is taken very seriously the offenses that are conducted here sorry that are committed here that are very serious of course they are serious but with regard to one particular area the high court has given uh, i mean have asked the law commission to rethink about the age criteria now what all are the salient features of posco first one is it is new gender neutral it does not only talk about a male or a female it just talks about a citizen right second if an abuse has taken place and someone is aware of it yeah if he or she does not talk about it does not report about it that can also be taken up as an offense and there is no time limit to it under posco act uh, this is the beauty that whenever you want you can come and uh, report about the abuse there is no limitation act that is going to be applied here there is no limitation of time be it 3 years be it 5 years 10 years and whatever data whatever document is collected name age everything all of them uh, of a victim has to be confidential uh, very strictly confidential in such matters right so these were the salient features of the posco act a bit of importance because we have been seeing quite uh, i mean this uh, legislation quite frequently since last few months right so that would be it for today's session and th thank you so much i think this is going to be our last legal update for the 2023 session and uh, that would be it from my side i hope my sessions uh, uh, help you and if you have any question if you have any doubts if you have anything to say please let me know in the comment box and uh, uh, that would be it all the very best give your best uh, on the d day keep your calm and trust yourself if you have prepared well you will definitely perform well provided you keep yourself calm and you believe in yourself right so that would be it thank you so much